everyone out there on the internet. It's me, Sean, and I'm not actually inside your computer. It just looks that way. I'm here in the Reverb office in Chicago, and today we're going to show you how to download a plugin from the Reverb Sync software store and then insert it into your Pro Tools session for use. So in this case, I'm looking for a virtual instrument to use in my session. I'm going to click into our little instruments category here. And sure, this P bass sounds perfect. So it'll automatically show you what platform you're on, whether you're on Windows or OS X. In this case, it automatically knows that I'm on an Apple machine. And then you can see which formats are supported here. So AAX for Pro Tools, Audio Units, VST standalone for, uh, for other programs. So I will download this with the touch of a button. So now I will take this plugin, unpack the file, open the installer, read your license agreement, every single word, always read it. You never know what's in there. In my case, I really only want the AAX version. I'm using Pro Tools. Continue and install. So now I've got a brand new session in Pro Tools. The way we're going to use our new p bass instrument is uh, in Pro Tools, we're going to click the track menu up here and then new track. Alternatively, you can just do the key command, which is shift command N. Here you've got the option to create one or however many instances of whatever kind of track, audio, aux input, instrument track. In this case, we're looking for a stereo instrument track, uh, which in sort of newer versions of Pro Tools, it's either nine and up or 10 and up, I forget which. They kind of took a cue from Logic and made it easier, essentially, to play software instruments in Pro Tools. Earlier versions, back when I first started using the software, you had to create a separate MIDI track and an aux input which held your virtual instrument. Now they kind of took a cue from Apple's logic and just give you an instrument track which essentially combines them both into one for tidiness. So I'll create my stereo instrument track and now we can select any of the available inserts here. So we go to uh, multi-channel plugins, instrument, and then it's right up at the top. Pro Tools automatically when you install a new plugin, whenever you open Pro Tools, it's gonna scan your drive for new Pro Tools compatible plugins. So in this case, it found it right away. We'll click it open, and wouldn't you know it? We have a P bass, or a virtual reality P bass. So that's how you download, install, and insert into your Pro Tools session any plugin, be it an instrument, processor, audio utility, anything you have. And uh, keep an eye out for more of this kind of stuff, demos, videos, articles, everything you could possibly imagine on Reverb Sync.